Hello, my name is Daniel Ripley from CG Dreams, and today I'm going to be creating this video as an extension to my previous video on how to create a contact form with multiple recipients for an email. This video is going to be showing you how to incorporate more security in your web form, i.e. to stop spam. Now there's two ways in which I like to show you how to do this. The first way is to create what's called a hidden form. Now in either case I'm using the web the forms to go light application to generate this PHP file. So if you're unaware of what I'm talking about when I'm actually showing you this in the video then I suggest you go back and look at the previous video which shows you why and how to set this up. If you have seen this video then this will make total sense to you. So in this particular video I'm going to be showing you two, as I mentioned, ways of getting around this problem. The first way is to add what's called a hidden field. And to do this, we just click on our web form here and we right click and go edit from properties. Now we go to the edit form properties, we go to the hidden fields and you just simply add a hidden field. The reason why we would want a hidden field in there is because we want the bot to fill it out, but a human visitor isn't going to see this hidden field so it makes no difference to them and what we want to happen is is we want the bot that's programmed to fill out all of the fields to fill out this particular hidden field in which we're going to tell forms to go light to not allow the email to be sent so I've added the field as you can see here I've exported this contact page to the um, disk and then I'm going to go to web forms to go light and let's just go there now. So this is forms to go light. I filled out everything else as shown in the previous um, video. Um, the addition that I've got here is this spam form here, the one that's hidden. It's hidden from humans, but it's not hidden from the bot. So what we want to happen is, is we want the bot to fill this out. And with this validation, we want to go to the number of characters and we want to set it to zero to zero. This is essentially saying the form is only going to send the email providing zeros being put into this particular field, nothing. Of course the bot doesn't know that and it's going to fill it out. When we put this in we can have a little error message if we want, it makes no difference. And then we can click OK. Now if that doesn't work for you for some reason or you don't like the way that that works, um, it didn't work too well for me in particular. What you can do is do this instead. I'll go back to web plus x6. And what I've done is I've added an extra edit field here. And I'll show you how to do this. We right click and we go to form wizard. And you can see here that we can add another edit box. Now with the edit box that I've added, I've called it anti-spam. And in the label, I put a string of information to the visitor. And here it is. So it says anti-spam, please enter the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. You can add anything. You can say, please enter ABC. The idea of this is, is you're telling a human to intellectually read this particular piece of text and input a specific value. Now this will make sense why. When we export this contact form to disk and we go into forms to go light, you can see just down the bottom here, I've chosen the validation to be of the list of values. Now the list of values, what it shows you here is it shows you that if you succeed in the value is set in the list, then you can continue to send the email and that's what we want it on. In this particular case, I've prompt the visitor to put one, two, three, four in and then that means it matches up with the conditions of this particular field. Now when you've done this, we go over to my website you can see that they can fill out the name. A bot's going to put anything in here like this. A random email address. And something random in this field as well. And of course their spam will be in the comments field here. We click on submit. And you can see here that my message is you must type in the numbers 1234 in the box. Now of course if this is a bot they ain't going to be able to read this. 
but if my visitor did accidentally just put anything in there then at least I'm prompting them to go back and put the correct value in which is in this particular case one two three four once that's done we can now submit and it will go through as planned and then you'll receive the email from humans not from bots so I hope that helps and gives you a couple of options um, and once again thanks for watching uh, this video brought to you by CG Dreams.